Hi there, I'm Matthew Lester from the Rhodes Business School. This is a little presentation to help you understand your average rate of tax in South Africa, and that's very important in understanding the national budget speech on 27 February 2013. The tax brackets for 2013 have three essential characteristics. Take as little as possible from those below 250,000. The tax burden starts to increase when we get in the categories 350 to 484,000. And it's expensive tax-wise once your income peaks over 484,000, reaching super tax at 617,000. The Commissioner of SARS, Opa Magashula, in a presentation in September showed that the South African average tax rate has declined from 35% in 1994-1995 to 18.2% today, and that is a remarkable achievement. But one must take into account that there are other factors at play. Let's start off with how many taxpayers are there. Well, there are 52 million South Africans, of which 3.8 million actually pay some tax, although 13 million are registered for tax. The rest are below tax threshold. In the lower bands below 100,000, 32.5% of the taxpayers sit, but they only pay 3.2% of the tax. About 50% of the tax is paid in the middle order, that's 100,000 to 500,000 rands per year. And then there are a select group of a few taxpayers who contribute the rest, very small in number, and there are only 60,000 South Africans who earn more than 1 million rand a year. So let's look at one of them. Here's a chap who earns 1.5 million rand a year, 10% pensionable. He will land up paying tax in terms of the 2013 tables of 460,700, or an average tax rate of 31%, still way below the maximum marginal tax rate of 40%. But that's not the end of the story. Then you start spending your money, so take the remaining amount after tax, that's 889000 and start spending it and incurring transaction taxes. Transaction taxes are at rates between 14 and 50%, depending on what you buy. If one then strips out the transaction tax, this taxpayer only got 811000 in actual bang for the buck, and a further 77,000 was paid in transaction taxes. If this is added to the income tax paid, this pushes up the average tax rate to 36%. There are some who say that South Africans pay a 70% average tax rate. Well, that's simply not possible. So now take the national budget. For 2012-2013, we will spend just about 1 trillion rand in South Africa. The big expenses are health, education, safety and social welfare. We can see there that they amount to 60% of South Africa's tax. That's for supporting the rest of South Africa who are not fortunate enough to have a job. So, let's analyse out the tax spend by the various categories. And from that, we'll be able to see who you work for. Put it all together on a timeline during the year. This guy would have spent the first month and a bit, just earning his pension. Then, the rest of February, paying to social welfare. During March, he will work for his private schools, and a bit of April as well. Then he'll work for the Department of Education, in the biggest budget of South Africa, keeping our kids at school. In May, he'll pay for his home safety, and then he'll pay for public safety, that's defence, prisons and justice. And in June, he'll pay for his medical, and the rest of the month will be spent on health, going into July, that is. The rest of July will be spent paying for the car, and a bit of July and August paying for our roads and utilities. The home loan will take him the rest of August and so the whole of September and a bit of October to pay. Then he'll have to make his contribution to paying interest on the public debt. Then will come the costs of running the home, and finally, the cost of building houses for those in South Africa who don't have houses. The beginning part of December will be spent on general and economic services for South Africa. Then will come the holiday, but there are two important items at the end. Recreational expenses for the general public, and a mere day spent on protecting the environment. So, let's get around a bry and say what can we do about it. Well, we could give over to a life of the bottle and sin. We would then pay a rand a beer, or seven rand for a bottle of dop, 
or 10 Rand 37 for a packet of cigarettes. And that's all going to go up in this year's national budget speech. Or you can take a telephone directory, tear out half a page and make a banana split. Brew up some home brew, no taxes on that, and blow your brains out. You could even create a career for your spouse. Overall conclusions. Average tax rates are about all the taxes in your life. The more you spend, the more you will pay. Saving tax is as much about lifestyle choices as anything else. I'm Matthew Lester from the Rhodes Business School.